Hi folks, I'm from HighOnAndroid.com and GalaxyS2Root.com where we get <coughs> on Android every day. Uh, it's time to dig your Galaxy S2 out of the grave. Uh, this is for the AT&T Galaxy S2. Uh, I've got the AI... no, not AICP. I've got the Slim LP ROM for the AT&T Galaxy S2. This is Android 5.1.1. I was actually uh, installing several different ROMs. I had Cyanide L ROM before this on 5.1.1. That one has some problems. Um, I'm not uh, talking trash, but I mean, it has problems for the AT&T uh, S2 version. The other versions are great, like for the Nexus 6, but um, I had some rebooting pr problems and it was heating up. Anyway, uh, most people on X2 actually agree with me. I know many of you are actually running this ROM anyways on XDA. But for those of you who are still on Stone Age ICS or Jelly Bean or even 5.0.2, definitely check out the Android 5.1.1 uh, Slim LP ROM. And for those of you who don't know the history of Slim ROMs, a uh, Slim ROM started with this phone right here. I remember when the Slim ROMs first came out. And now it's available for many other phones, but the first time I saw it was on this phone, this particular version of uh, i777. So that's, I think, one of the reasons why they still develop it, and this is one of the most stable ROMs for the SGH i777. So I really like it. Everything is fast. Uh, I get about almost 20k on Antutu with no overclocking. All right, and it comes with its own launcher, slim launcher. This is very similar to uh, Trebuchet, but it's actually a little bit different. Um, you can go ahead and mess with the home screen grid size there. There's even gestures, uh, which is kind of cool. This is Slim uh, LP ROMs, its own launcher. So they do a lot of innovation. A lot of ROM, other ROMs actually take uh, some of the stuff from uh, Slim launcher or Slim ROMs and put it in there. A uh, recents panel, um, you can get Slim recents, of course, because that's uh, from the Slim LP ROM or Slim ROMs. Um, so this is the original that started with the uh, its own uh, recent bar there. All right, you also get a quick setting, uh, some customizations here. And I always like to make this enable the four tiles and then uh, turn off enlarge. That way you have more space. Um, you can go ahead and configure your tiles here. All right, ooh, this one has compass. Yes, uh, all these other things you can do. Not as much as uh, the other ROM we looked at for um, like AICP ROM for the S3, but uh, still enough customization for you to uh, have some kind of customization, something better than CM12.1. Uh, but uh, this ROM is just made for this phone. I mean, that's where it's from. So other than that, it's a very stable ROM. I like it because everything works out of the box. There's no random reboots. You're going to get very stable Android 5.1.1 experience. Um, so definitely check it out. Uh, everything works. And do let me know what you think. And I should have more ROM reviews for the S2. Maybe I'm going to start doing maybe once a month. Um, just because the ROM development is slow. But if you want to install one ROM and just keep it for the next six months, definitely check this one out. And if you have your AT&T S2 in your garage or uh, <laughs> dig it up and install this and, you know, turn your phone into something more useful. I, I mean, you know, you can have it like a standalone P Pandora machine or don't sell it because it's, you can sell this. You're not going to get any much money for it now. Uh, but you can install ROM like this and make it all anew again. Anyway, I'll see you guys soon. I have more stuff coming uh, also on my main channel. I'll see you guys soon as always. I'll stay on Android.